Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hello, beloved of God. We just miss you so, so much. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining us on the Saturday evening worship service. Oh, hallelujah. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. He's the only one good, and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're so excited as far as the worship tonight. Uh, we know that, uh, praise God, Easter's tomorrow. Hallelujah. And uh, I know it doesn't take a day for us to come together and worship. It really doesn't. Amen. We do it continuously. Hallelujah. It's a relationship with our Heavenly Father. Amen. Say that with me. Relationship. Glory to God. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that it's all because of you. All because our Lord Jesus Christ would leave heaven to come save us. Amen. To save us. Say with me, save me, Lord. Amen. You remember that glorious day? I do. Just calling upon Lord Jesus, asking God to forgive you, heal me. That's what I said when I asked God to, to save me, heal me. I don't want to die this way. I don't want to die. All I've done was serve myself, pity myself, right? Serve the devil. All I did. And I said, Lord, I don't want to do this no more. Beloved church family, I can't tell you exactly what my prayers were. But I will tell you it was perfect. Amen. It was perfect. Just like yours was and is and will always be. Why? Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray in Jesus' name that we just have many family, whether you're across the the, the sea, whether you're in China, you know, the Philippines, wherever you're at, that you, 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 you listen into this message and you said it with us, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. I don't limit God. Hallelujah. Right now, you look out and you can just see fields of harvest. Amen. Oh, my goodness. And glory to God. We are charged in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To just grab souls in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do that with me. Just Grab the blessings, right? Grab the souls that are going to come into the family of God. Hallelujah. Come into submitting to Lord Jesus Christ. Come into worshiping Holy Spirit. Amen. And just being, say with me, I am an obedient child of God. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. God has so much in store for us tonight, tomorrow, for all of eternity. Amen. We can't even wrap our minds around that. How much God loves us. Praise God. Our worship service this evening is titled Christ our Passover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we could just stop right there. Amen. We don't even need to have it. We don't even need to have anything come. We know this is true. But I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to ask you to pray with me. Regardless when you listen to this message, regardless if it's on a Saturday night or whatever. Pray. Pray with me. Pray for me. Praying for you. The beloved church family, praying for this world. Hallelujah. As Pastor John has mentioned, let's make sure we set our, our alarm clocks at 8 o'clock in the evening. And 8 o'clock in the evening, Open Arms Community Church, by the grace of God, God has ordained us and blessed us to be one. One body, Lord Jesus Christ, unified in His Holy Spirit. And we submit because we, we know God has asked us and charged us as a church body. Let's, let's fall on our knees, on our face at 8 o'clock every evening. You know, let, let's just pray for this entire world. Amen. Let's just pray for God's presence. Because we know everything gooder and gooder only comes from the only one good. Hallelujah. The only one good is from our Father God Almighty. Amen. He's the only one good. And we're, and we're hoping in this season when we, when we just pray. Now watch what God will do in you and through you and your house, because it's God's house, amen, covered by his blood. Say with me, blood, hallelujah, it's his blood, amen. And, and, and just feel the anointing of Holy Spirit flow through us in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Oh, I'm just so thankful. I'm getting choked up already. Just like every worship service, I'm just excited what Holy Spirit's going to do. Let's pray, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your blood that was spilled on Calvary's cross. 
through agape, through your perfect beloved son, your only son, your only perfect son, Father, your perfect sacrifice, your perfect lamb, Lord Jesus Christ. We are so thankful for all of eternity, Lord Jesus Christ, that we have your name, that we have your name, Lord Jesus Christ, and it's the name above every name, and we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you freely give us your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we worship you and bless you. The only way we know how is to lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to say thank you to our Heavenly Father, and to feel, hear, see your anointing, Lord Jesus Christ, through the manifestation of Holy Spirit within. So Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. You're the only teacher. You're the only one that teaches us. We only go to and through you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father God, I thank you right now for this anointing, the power that you speak. May every ear have ears to hear. And Father God, may every eye be open. That as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we bind up every foul, demonic thing in Jesus' name. And Holy Spirit, we know that you are loosed from heaven within the Holy of Holies, within us as your beloved children, and into the atmosphere, for you are God Almighty. Thank you, Father God, that you love us. Thank you, Father God, for saving us. And above all, thank you, Father God, that you've sealed us for all of eternity. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Oh, glory to God. Give somebody a high five. Mm. Amen. If you're by yourself. That's what I just did. Amen. I'm by myself. I'm just not by myself. I know you know. Holy Spirit's in me and all his angels around me. Praise God. Just go like that. Yeah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Angel high five. Amen. Praise God. Say it with me. Christ our Passover. Hallelujah. We're going to be in uh, three books today and, and wherever else Holy Spirit leads us. Amen. I put this up here and it'll be on your screen. Glory to God. Holy Spirit is just blessing us with wisdom and how to do things in, in, this, in this season that we're in that's already over in Jesus name. Amen. This coronavirus is rebuked by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We only fear God Almighty. Amen. Can I get an amen? We only fear God and how much he loves us. Well, how much does he love me, Pastor Joey? Look at Jesus. Amen. Just look at Jesus. You see, without looking at Jesus, one will never know. One will never know agape. One will never know Holy Spirit without looking at Jesus. He's the only way, the only truth. He is the only life. And he's the only way you can live abundantly, just like you are, just like I am. Hallelujah. Say that with me. I am. Just like I am. And it's all because of Holy Spirit light. Hallelujah. Shining through us. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to be in Exodus 12. And we're going to jump around. Not, not so much so going forward and back. But in Exodus 12, we're going to be in verse 5, 7, 12 to 13, and 21 to 28. For, you know, just for the sake of just being obedient to the Holy Spirit. And remember, it is Saturday night, so I, forgive me. I don't want to go. I know many of you are saying you don't need to ask for forgiveness. But I do have to say, I don't, I don't want to go an hour, you know. So I'm asking Holy Spirit for help and wisdom. Because he's the only teacher. Amen. And just like you, I'm thankful to be a mouthpiece. We're all mouthpieces for Lord Jesus Christ. I'm thankful. Hallelujah. Beyond measure. Beyond comprehension. I'm thankful that God has... Bless us in our day. I'm not worthy, family. I'm not. I'm nothing. I know Lord Jesus Christ is worthy. Hallelujah. And he's my Savior. He's my Lord, my God. And I know that Holy Spirit lives in me just like Holy Spirit lives in you. Amen. And just like myself and Pastor John, we said yes. Father God, we answer the call to yes to pastor your holy church. Amen. And when I say, I say all that because pray for us. Because we just want to be obedient to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit has all the glory. Hallelujah. The name above every name is lifted up. What's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. Right? So that our Father God will be blessed. Amen? Because he's a good and perfect Father. And all he wants to do is live in and through us. To experience life through us. And that is called living abundantly. Hallelujah. See, abundant living isn't a matter of I want to do what I want to do. And live the way I want. And have a bank account that, you know, that's not... 
abundantly living. Abundantly living is a relationship with Lord Jesus Christ and allowing, say that word with me, allow. For you, for me, because it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship now, amen, it's just between, say with me, me and Jesus, amen? It's just between you and God Almighty now, and it's your relationship with him, and the question is that God has for us right now at this moment, am I living through you? And that's what Holy Spirit wants to do. Can I get an amen, church? Holy Spirit wants to count on you that he can live through you every minute, every second of every day. Amen? Whether it's blessing your wife, right? Blessing your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, blessing your children. If you're a child, blessing your mom and dad. That's how Holy Spirit wants to live through you in glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? We're going to be in Luke 22, verses 7 through 15. And then we're also going to be in John 10, verse 9. We're going to close there. Amen. Glory to God. Are you excited? Hallelujah. Say amen. Praise God. We choose to rejoice. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Once again, the title of this message is Christ, our Passover. Amen. Let's get into this. Hallelujah. The animals you chose must be year old males without defect, and you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Amen. Now we got to keep in mind, Moses was charged to do this because as you recall, yes, this is taking back to the this is taking you back to when the Israelites were going to be set free. Amen. And the warning already came upon Egypt that this was going to take place. So now we're right here in 12 starting in verse 5, and Moses received word from the Lord Jesus Christ from the word of God. Amen. Remember, Lord Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega. He's been in the beginning and the end, just like Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's do it. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, our God. Amen. From beginning to end. Hallelujah. So this command, this charge has been sent through. Amen. Through the pastor. Amen. And of course, Moses said, okay, okay, so this is what we're going to do. So that's what he said. This sacrifice, say it with me, must be perfect. Hallelujah. Without defect, right? Must be perfect without defect. Hallelujah. So right off the bat, we're just going to get into it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Amen. I'm excited. Glory to God. So you got to imagine as far as when... I, we just gotta we just gotta take a step back real quick. We're gonna get back into the written word of God. You can see this picture over here of this beloved lamb up there, right? It's so sad. Can you imagine the magnitude of all the sacrifice, all the blood that was all over there? Oh I know some of you are just shaking your head with me. And this is where God said, I want you to take a step back and look at this picture. Right? Because it's easy to get into the written word and start getting all up in here. Amen. Say, I rebuke this. Amen. Say with me, Holy Spirit, teach me. Say with me, Joey's not the teacher. Say with me, Holy Spirit, you're the only teacher. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Then they are to take, say with me, some of the blood and put it on the sides and the tops of the door. Say that with me, the door of the houses where they eat the lambs. And I pull up this picture, and praise God, it was a really great picture of this family. And you can see that brother right there, he has the hyssop plants, and he dipped it in blood. And you can see that he put it on the top really well. He put it on the top, right, and on the sides. Amen. On that same night, this is what God spoke. I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. Say with me, I am the Lord. You know when God says, I am, hallelujah, this is agape now, amen? This is our identity as beloved children of God, hallelujah. That when God makes this clear that I am going to pass through. And when I pass through, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take vengeance on those who do evil and who are disobedient. 
Beloved church family, may I tell you right now, in the world that we live in, the only one good, as I said earlier, that Holy Spirit wants to echo for all of eternity, the only one good is our Heavenly Father God, Agape. Amen? Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? And listen to what God just said. I will strike down every firstborn of both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. See, Egypt was worshiping all of these pagan demonic things because we there's only one God. Hallelujah. God is our Heavenly Father, Agape, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. There's only one God. Amen. Can I get an amen? One God. Say that with me. One God. He's, he's our daddy. Hallelujah. Our daddy. Our daddy who provided the perfect sacrifice, his perfect son, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The only perfect one that can carry everything out to perfection. Say that with me. Perfection. Amen. Without spot, without wrinkle, without blemish. Perfection. Is that your Lord Jesus? That's my Lord Jesus Christ. Perfect. Hallelujah. Perfect. I don't care if I'm spitting all over the place. It's just me in this building right now. Amen. Physically, I know we got all the angels around us. Hallelujah. Perfect. Say that with me. Perfect. Hallelujah. Say it. Don't spray it. Perfect. And glory to God that he would send Lord Jesus Christ to tear that veil in half. Amen. To signify to this world, I am no longer behind the veil. I am now in you. Amen. Let's give God praise for that. Amen. Hallelujah. So how many of you would agree that we live in a world right now that there's a lot of quote unquote demonic things that people are worshiping? Amen. And see, we touched on this not too long ago, maybe a week ago, maybe it's been longer. I don't know. Praise God. I don't know. But what we touched on is that God has to be first and foremost in our life. I like to say it all the time. You hear me say it. I say it when Trish is here. Trish even knows it because you know why? She lives this way. God's the only one. There is no number two. Don't you love that? God is the only one. He is the only love of my life. Amen. He is my God Almighty. Amen. I worship him continuously. He is all I have. Lord Jesus Christ is all I have. And glory to God. Lord Jesus Christ taught us to live this way as he walked on this earth. God is a good father. Amen. His mercy and his grace was everlasting to everlasting. Lord Jesus Christ, he just oozed agape. Amen. Being agape himself, right? And by the grace of God, we see this through Christ as he lived on this earth and ministered. And as he taught his disciples, as, as he healed everybody. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Everybody. Everybody was healed in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Agape. Amen. And as you, as you experience this, you're like, oh my goodness. Right? But then the ones that thought they knew God, the ones that carried out all of the rituals, right? The ones that according to the law, they were living righteous. Guess what? They were the furthest away from God. Why? Because now it just became all about them and what they can do. It has nothing to do with the grace and mercy of Lord Jesus Christ. It was all based on their works and all this. And glory to God, say with me, no more. No more. Because see, what happened back then, what happened back then with Egypt is they started worshiping not only themselves, it's, it's all pride now. It's all pride. May I say that? It's all pride. That's, that's who Satan is, pride. And once he can get into your pride, then that's when darkness comes. And that's where bondage starts taking place. That's where, that's where the lust and the greed start to manifest when you open yourself up to finding enjoyment in other things rather than keeping God first. Amen? So they had all these different pagan gods. These, they, they had just idolatry everywhere. May I ask you, beloved child of God, what kind of world do we live in? It's the same thing over again. Amen? 
And this is why Holy Spirit wanted this message for tonight in preparation of glorious Sunday morning, Easter morning. Amen. Well, let's continue. Praise God. Say with me the blood. Woo! Hallelujah. Power in the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Had to be obedient. Sing that. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, this is God speaking now. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Say that with me. Pass over. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. Amen? Now, to many of you, this is going to be alarming when I say this, but I got to be obedient to what Holy Spirit says. You have to understand this world, this world is a fallen world. There's a God of this world, and I know we serve God Almighty. Amen? But the Word of God says that there is a devil. And this devil is running rampant and he's doing whatever he can to steal, kill, and destroy. To put fear in your heart where your fear is up here and God is right here. I rebuke that in Jesus Christ's name. See, some of you right now, this is, this is actually where you're at. And God is crying out, with, out to you through the anointing of his Holy Spirit by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ to get this right. You cannot allow fear in your heart, in your mind, in your house. Because you think that this thing has no voice. You think that this thing has no power. But guess what? When you allow that to come in, the evil one will manifest. Nothing good comes out of being crunchy. Amen? Can I say that again? Nothing good comes out from being crunchy. When you start to worry, when you start getting into anxiety, all because of fear, guess what? What manifests within the body is sickness and disease. Because you're consumed by the tormenting thoughts. God is asking, will you replace the tormenting thoughts with how Lord Jesus Christ was tormented on that cross? Can I get an amen? Say it with me, the blood. The blood will be a sign for you and on the houses where you are that when I see the blood, God says, I will see the blood. Right now in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit knows where the blood of God, the blood of Lord Jesus Christ is applied. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say with me, hallelujah. Say with me, that's me. Right now, God knows exactly where every drop went. Hallelujah. You don't want it? Look at this. 3D. I'm going to take it. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, you, you took it. Amen. I know who I'm talking to. You're like, that's my blessing. Paid for in full through my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I just heard some of you say, <laughs> don't touch my blessing. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father God wants to bless you and flood you with his anointing. Amen. How many of you received that? Hallelujah. I believe and declare in Jesus' name. That Heavenly Father, anyone who hears your voice through me, that Holy Spirit, your anointing would flood them. Father, that you would flood them, Father God. Those right now that are struggling with, with the lies and the deception of the enemy, no more in Jesus' name, Father. We are now going to focus on what you went through, Lord Jesus Christ, so that we can be set free from that bondage and live in peace and in freedom. Through your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Amen. No destruction, no destructive, no coronavirus, none of that will touch you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter. Slaughter them. The Passover lamb. Just slaughter them. I'm sorry, but man, just the, just the image. Right? Can you imagine how many animals that was and all the blood that was spilled? Take a, take a bunch of hyssop, and what we discussed earlier, dip it into the blood. <clears throat> In the basin, it's, 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 a, it's a little tub. And put it on the door. Say with me, the door. 
and the top and the both sides of the door frame. Say that with me again, the door. None of you shall go out the door of your house until morning. So they were on lockdown, amen? Like what the world is in right now, lockdown, right? But glory to God, don't you love the fact that you be obedient, be submissive to God Almighty. You know his word, amen? When the, when, when the authorities, when the government say it's a state of emergency, stay indoors, try not to go, we submit. Say it with me, submit. Why? Because we are children of God who are obedient and we submit to Lord Jesus Christ. And the word of God says submit. I'm going to submit. Hallelujah. It's amazing to me that as simple as the word of God is and as simple as Holy Spirit makes it for us, in pride, we want to make it complicated, right? In pride, well, I think this is right. I think this. it doesn't matter. What matters is we submit to Holy Spirit, amen? Bless Holy Spirit with him and live the gooder and gooder life, amen? None of you shall go out of your door of your house until morning. So you cover, we covered this. You see the Passover lamb, Right? Perfect. Say that with me. Perfect. Without blemish, the word of God says. Without blemish. And what they had to do as far as with the blood. Now I know there's many other things that we jumped over. But praise God. When Holy Spirit leads you to. And you, you, you go into fellowship. Into intimacy. Into a secret room or devotional. You know, however, you, you know, in, in this intimate season that we have with God. Because guess what? We're on lockdown. Amen. Many are, aren't working. Children aren't home. Praise God. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to take, to take what, what Holy Spirit's teaching and, and, and make this interactive. Say that with me, interactive. It's a relationship with God Almighty. Amen? But it, it's an opportunity for us to just grab the family and go, look, you know, years ago, before Christ come, look at what was happening. Amen? And now we're going to fast forward. Praise God. Let's go over this, and in closing, we're going to get into Luke, praise God, 22. In Exodus 12, verse 23 says, When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on the top and sides of the door frame. Say that with me, the door. And will pass over that door. Say that with me, that door. And he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down. So let's make glory to God. Let's, let's just clear everything out. Amen. Let's just, let's just make this clear. Amen. Because I don't want any misinterpretation and I don't want any assumption. Amen. Let's just make this perfectly clear. The only one good and perfect is our Father God Almighty. Amen. Our agape consists of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. How do you get Holy Spirit? Only through Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Hallelujah. The only way, the only truth, this is the order of God. Amen. God is a God of order. Amen. Not chaos. So what I want to make clear in Holy Spirit says take this moment to explain to the Holy Church and for all of eternity to understand that when you talk about the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, Lord Jesus Christ, remember, is in heaven with Holy Spirit, our Father God, amen? He has not come yet as the flesh of God. He has not come yet, amen? So what we have to keep in mind is when we read scripture like this, when God says he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down, it's because, for one, obedient children of God, amen, even back in the Old Testament, Old Covenant, have a relationship with God in agreement. And God is a God of order, and he will never break that agreement, amen? He, amen. He, he, he will always see everything through. So the glory of God is that when he sees that his children are obedient, his presence, say it with me, Holy Spirit presence, his presence protect us by default, automatically. It's the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, his presence, hallelujah. Where does God reside? Where does he live in the new covenant church? Amen, many of you beat me to it. Right here in me, God is in you. 
I pray in Jesus' name you believe this. This isn't just for a preacher to preach it to sound good. This is the Holy Bible, and this is the truth. Amen? That if Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, hallelujah, God lives in you and through you. Take a breath with me. Glory to God. And it's his anointing, say that word with me, anointing, that protects you for all of eternity. Now see, in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, because they didn't have this revelation, right? They didn't have it because Lord Jesus Christ didn't come yet, die and raise, rise again, right? That didn't happen for them in the Old Covenant, Old Testament. So what they were listening to their pastor at the time, as you, as you know, Moses said to them, look, this is what's going to take place. They looked at him and said, okay, man of God. Okay, woman of God. Okay, right? Wherever the anointing was, because they have a relationship with the Heavenly Father, they know I need to do this. Because if I don't do this, then it shows that I'm disobedient to God. And then what happens? The presence of God is not there. And that's where evil, the destroyer, comes. The thief comes. See, the same applies now, but the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ, he made it personal. Amen? Say that with me, personal. He made it intimate. Amen? It's no longer tribes. It's no longer nations or kingdoms. It's no longer a country. It's now the person. It is that soul. Can I get an amen? That soul. It's up to that soul that I, I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. I died in you, Father. Forgive me. You are my father. You are my identity. I don't belong to this world. I belong to you. All I can do is thank you, Father. What happens, Holy Spirit? Amen. Holy Spirit takes over just like that. And you just keep on worshiping and blessing God that way. Amen. Cool. Let's move on. Praise God. Verse 24, 26. Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you, as he promised, amen, isn't it beautiful, Lord Jesus Christ wrote this word, amen, in the Old Covenant, Old Testament. And when he come in human, right, in flesh, when he come, he fellowship with his disciples and wrote down in the written word, I must go so that the advocate comes. He promises the advocate, amen. And who, who is our advocate? Holy Spirit. Where does Holy Spirit reside? In you and in me. What does Holy Spirit listen for in order to, to just, whoo, just kick it, just kick it up a notch as far as just, just overwhelming, anointing, overwhelming presence of the Holy Spirit? Rejoice! Hallelujah! There's no secret to it. It's all in the written word of God. The Apostle Paul said it continuously, right? Through trials, through tribulations. Rejoice! Keep on rejoicing. Amen. Don't allow the, the situation, circumstances, this crazy world define you. Don't allow it to affect your worship. Amen? Rejoice. Say it with me. Rejoice. Hallelujah. And check this out. Read that in verse 26. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Glory be to Lord Jesus Christ that right now, April 2020, many of you have children asking, what is happening? What is going on? Rather than just speaking Satan, the coronavirus, Satan, rather than speaking that nonsense, crack open that Bible. Amen? Sit everybody down and say, look, this is what's taking place, but I want to talk to you about Lord Jesus Christ. We need to get right. Amen? We need to get right. Listen, I speak that for myself. I speak that for everybody. We all need to get right. We need to get intimate with Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And allow Holy Spirit's anointing to refresh in our spirit, the Holy of Holies, to renew our soul, to refresh in our soul. Amen. To heal the body. Hallelujah. We are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me. I am the temple of God. Amen. Then tell them it is Passover, say we mean Passover, sacrifice to the Lord, who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. 
Then the people bowed down and worshipped. The Israelites did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron to do. Now we're going to get, we're going to transition into Luke now. Hallelujah. Into the New Testament. Amen. Say that with me. New Testament. Hallelujah. The gospel. Let's, let's read this. Then came today an unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb, say it with me, Passover lamb, had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John saying, go and make preparations for us to eat. Say this with me, the Passover. Where do you want us to prepare for it, they asked. He replied, as you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house, the teacher, hallelujah. Say it with me, teach me, O Lord. The teacher asked, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover? Say that again with me, the Passover, with my disciples. He will show you a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. They left and found things just as Lord Jesus Christ told them. So they prepared, say this with me, the Passover, the Passover, when the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, listen to what our Lord Jesus Christ said. I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Can't get an amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I need you to understand the beauty of what Holy Spirit's teaching us right now at this very moment. Holy Spirit told me, understand this, Joey. That look at my divine orchestration timing of everything all the way back in Exodus when I spoke to Moses, right, to Aaron, and giving them clear instructions to find a perfect lamb without blemish right and to take that blood and to apply it on say with me the door amen and lord jesus spoke this now because as he spoke that remember god is alpha and omega beginning and the end amen he is time we're stuck in this moment in time right Remember, we don't drag God down to our level. No, we worship and trust Lord Jesus. Amen. For he is God Almighty. Can I get an amen? And he loves us. He's for us. Glory to God. And his presence goes before us in Jesus' name. All God is asking is, trust me. Trust me. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Be thankful. Oh, hallelujah. When you live life this way, trusting in Lord Jesus Christ, is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, lacking nothing. He is perfect. All the authority, hallelujah, all the power, all the glory is his, my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What does that do to Holy Spirit? It blesses Holy Spirit. Amen. Blesses our Heavenly Father where Holy Spirit is just saying, upon this rock. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Glory to God. And the church of God is repentance, trust, rejoicing, thanksgiving, hallelujah, healings, blessings, miracles, restoration, redemption. Gooder and gooder, hallelujah. Amen. Gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I love that when, when Lord Jesus said, I've been looking forward to this. I've been eagerly anticipating this. I've desired to eat this Passover with you before. Could you imagine how much time, right, went by when Lord Jesus said, I spoke this into existence. The moment I said, let there be light and created this world, I spoke this into existence that I eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you as my disciples. And beloved church family, that is you. That is me. We are his body. We are his church. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And I love that in verse 16. I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God? Hallelujah. So we, dis we discussed the Passover lamb and the blood. And you can see that door right there. 
And of course, you know what God did. Because remember, God is a God of order. That that old covenant, the Old Testament, everything that happened in the old before Lord Jesus Christ, everything was pointing towards Lord Jesus Christ. Everything was glorifying God's word, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And what did we do to Lord Jesus Christ? We bound him up. And I pause right here because even as this world is in the chaos it's in, I pray in Jesus' name, for those of you who listen to this message, reach out to your loved ones. Because fear from the enemy, fear from the enemy has, has, has made people just completely lose it. And what God is saying is, come back. Come back into worship. Come back into, listen, I know we can't physically come together. But now is the time to say, God, forgive me. Right? Father, forgive me. And this is the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to close with this. Say it with me. I am the door. And here in John 10, verse 9. This is what Lord Jesus Christ says, and it's a perfect summary, a perfect closing to this. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out. This is a relationship now with God, a relationship. Say that with me, relationship and find pasture. And this is the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me. Glory to God. And don't you love it? Then when you think about the instructions given by Moses in the Old Covenant and how the only way to be saved, the only way to be spared, the only way to keep your life was to make that sacrifice of that perfect lamb. And once that perfect lamb is sacrificed to take that holy blood, right? That blood at that time and put it on your door. And here Lord Jesus Christ is saying, I am that door. I am the perfect sacrifice of God. Here's Lord Jesus Christ saying, I am the holy blood. And here we are as God's beloved children saying, I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that this message bless you. And by the grace of God, Holy Spirit taught me how to put these, uh, these images on the screen for you to see f in full size. So we're going to make sure that we do that as, as we close in prayer. Hallelujah. Once again, this message is Christ, our Passover. And I just want to say thank you so much for your life of worship. Remember, victory is already ours. Lord Jesus Christ already came and saved us. Lord Jesus Christ already died a horrible, excruciating pain through that crucifixion, through that torture. And Lord Jesus Christ already rose again through the anointing power of Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the throne of our Heavenly Father. And Lord Jesus Christ said that greater things you will do because I go back to the Father. And the Father will send you another advocate, the Comforter. Amen. During these times and any times of struggle, of distraction, of when the enemy tries to say a word or say something, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, give us a fresh anointing to rebuke the enemy, to speak to the enemy and say, do not test Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you right now for this anointing. Do you receive that today? Hallelujah. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you so much, church family. Oh, we miss you. We miss you guys so, so much. And I know even though physically we're not here, we're one in spirit. Amen? We're one in spirit for all of eternity. And I just want to say thank you so much for fighting. Amen? How do we fight? Rejoice! Hallelujah! Trust Lord Jesus Christ, for he is perfect and he is worthy. Bless Holy Spirit when he speaks. Would you say, Father God? Okay, I'll do it. Amen. Let's not be judgmental over anybody. Let's not be critical. 
right? Let's not get religious with God, amen? Let's not. Let's just thank him, hallelujah. And let's allow Holy Spirit's anointing to flow, amen? Amen, glory to God. If you want to bless God with your offering, please, I, I try my best to faithfully, faithfully, because Holy Spirit reminds me to charge the church, oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com. You want to bless God with your offering, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you for your obedience in your worship through giving, hallelujah. All the church is needed right now, all the church buildings. Yes, God is our provider, amen. Yes, hallelujah, God is our provider. And guess what? He has provided through you and through me. Amen. So let's be faithful in our giving. I want to say thank you so much for all your prayers. Agape overflowing from you. For all the love and support. Praise God. Listen, this season is dead and gone. It's going to be gone just like that. Amen. And I cannot wait for all of us to get back in here. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a new season. Amen. Glory to God. God is the only one good. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, I pray I see you in the next half an hour. I love you, church family. God bless you. Let's be good to one another and be the blessing to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you guys. Mwah.